Okay, so for this final project, I have created a web app that <clears throat> will detect labels from images that is stored inside uh, my S3 buckets. Um, so the web app is going to look like this. This is a URL <clears throat> that's um, been given by Elastic Beanstalk. Um, I can provide a file name right here. Um, since in, inside of my S3 buckets, I have three images. I will choose um, horse JBG. It's just an, an image of a horse. So I'm going to horse JBG. I get the labels and it gave me back the response that is the label of the horse animal with those confidence levels. All right, and I'm gonna recreate this from scratch. Um, first, I would have to have my <clears throat> um, a IAM user. I go to my IAM user. I have two users at the moment, and this is the user that I'm gonna use. This user have S3 full access, so I can access S3 buckets whenever I want. Um, I can read from it, I can write to it, and since I'm using recognition service, I'm gonna use, uh, I'm gonna have recognition read only access. I don't wanna write to the recognition. So, um, since I have these two policies, I'm good to go. I'm gonna sign out and sign in into this IAM user. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to log into the Elastic Beanstalk console. <clears throat> and let's start it. Create new application. Cancel. Okay, I'm going to go back out. Build the web app. And since I'm having a node platform, that's weird. Okay, so it's in the rule as well. I'm gonna sign out and give my IAM user full access of the uh, Elastic Beanstalk as well. So, sign into my root first. That's a root account.
So I'm going back to I am and go to new user. I'm going to add a permission, um, anything that's related to Elastic Beanstalk because I wasn't able to access it. I'm going to give oops, Elastic Beanstalk full access next and add permission. Okay. I'm going to log out and switch to this user. Sign into council. Alright, um, so that's <coughs> the web app that's already been launched. I'm going to launch another one. Deploy a new version. Deploy. Create. Launch. There. So I'm going to create a new web app and we're going to name it demo.app. Choose a platform since this application is in Node.js. I'm going to upload my code. So for this code, um, um, it's a Node.js web app um, and it's using Express platform. Um, these are all the headers, um, and since I'm using AWS ADK, I'm including that as well, and all of the configuration goes here, and this is um, creating an instance of the recognition API, I'm rendering the HTML or the HES index page as I get the requests. And then here's the parameters for the recognition. I'm passing the bucket's name in it. Um, and this is where I'm getting the label response from um, the recognition API. And then I render it into the front page, which is here. Okay, I'm going to delete this one for now. Save. And I'm going to zip this file so that you can include it in our environment. Everything looks good. Let's zip it. Let's call it package. Now I'm going to include the package zip folder in here. Open and then upload it. Create applications. This will take a few minutes.
Alright, so the health looks okay, everything looks fine. Go into the URL and same, same thing. Okay, so the file gets back these labels. If I try to put something that is not inside a bucket, so let's say cat.jpg, it will give me an error saying that the object is not inside.